Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube? Ali Dope checking in once again. I finally finished the animated overlays pack, man. I know, I know. Hold your applause, it's been a minute. All right, so these these overlays, uh, they're including um, paper overlays. I have a few symbols, and I have uh, three animated fonts that I got done, handmade, uh, animated each single one to be used in different videos, photos. These uh, overlays can be used on any app. You can use it in Premiere, Sony, uh, Final Cut, After Effects, Advid, anything that you can drag and drop. Now, the concept of these is to make it really simple, really easy, so you guys can just drag and drop and keep it pushing when you just have a quick edit or just want to add some little spice to your videos. So we're just going to start off today with, I just have some few clips that I already have laid out and ready, all that good stuff. So we're going to do, we're going to go to effects, we're going to open up the packs, so like when you download the pack you'll see all of the different folders. So we're just going to start with just the overlays to give the, give the video some theme. Uh, you got a paper texture here, you got a photocopy texture, then I did a clean photocopy texture and then I did scratches so you got about four textures that you could use um, for this one right here I think I want to use this paper texture and then all you got to do is drag and drop you just delete delete the little audio right there you can either have it the whole way you could do it part the way we're just gonna cut it right here just so you guys can see now you're gonna see it's pretty big it's a big file I think it's 4k for the for the overlay so then you just scale to the frame size and then you are set to go so boom bada boom bada bing so after you do that you just change the blending mode to I like lighten sometimes it gives it like a cool shadow in the shadows you can use screen screen is cool as you can see it affects the shadows and how it affects the highlights you could try add as well you're going to get more of a glowy type feel on that. And if you really don't care, try overlay, try soft light, you know. It gives you a different, you know, different vibe. Like, you see how dark it is? It just gives it a different energy on the picture. But I want the to it to be seen for real, so I think I'm going to go with uh, lighten. There we go. I think I'm going to go with screen. So we're going to go with screen right here. Boom. Just... Look, that's pretty cool right there. Drag and drop, man. Really easy, really simple. Boom. So usually when you move to another clip, you need some sort of transact transition, right? So you could throw any transition that you want in there, but uh, we in my animated pack, we have a few things to use. So we're actually going to use this right here. I got an animated dollar sign. You just drag and drop. Once again, just literally drag and drop. And then if you want to, just do the time ramp. And then you can either speed it up, slow it down, speed it up. So I just want to make it like this long. And I want it to pop. And then you just throw this over top of the clips that you want. So it's more of like a like an eye away. Like it makes it so it diverts the eye a little bit. So you can transition. You can still add a transition as well on this. But we're not going to do it for this. So boom. And these drag. And boom. Look. Bang. Like. Woo. That's cool. And we just gonna press play on that. All right, yeah. And then we got this barbed wire as well. I'm gonna just drag and drop that underneath on this clip. And look, man, this is dope. Like, it's just a barbed wire from the thing. You can do it up and down, side to side. You can use it as a border. And with this too, all you have to do is go in here Go to your effects and type in tint, right? Drop the tint on the barbed wire. And then where you see the white for the barbed wire, you can make it any color, man. You can make it red, okay? You can make it uh, green to match, you know? So that's cool right there. You could drop that. You could drop the etch it 
A L H L S on there. Hue it, make a keyframe, change the colors a few, go like that, and now you have like a cool thing. And you can do this with any of the animated um, symbols. And now you got a changing color. Look at that. That's really cool, man. Look at that. That's dope. Just adds a little spruce to your video. You know what I'm saying? All right, so for the next clip. Oh, that's dope right there. I'm going to try out uh, another one of the overlays. Maybe let's try scratches so I can show you guys how that looks. Just give it some spizzazz. Unlink it. Delete it. Boom. Cut it. Boom. Now it fits. Scale the frame. Bada boom. Bada bang. These are all HD files. And once again, we're going to go with lightning. And look at that, man. That just adds some just adds some nice spice to the video. Like it just gives it that nice vibe. I bring down the opacity just a little bit so it's not so intense. I'm just gonna save it. Um, look, that is awesome right there. It gives it that grit. He's in the city at the court. So we're gonna take it even a step up. Um, I have a bunch of animated fonts here that show different stuff. So we got a little basketball here, so we're just gonna drop the basketball in there. Speed it up a little bit. And then the basketballs come like that. All you do is scale the frame, make sure it's fit. It's gonna fit right in there. All you gotta do is literally screen it. And then in After Effects, all you have to do is create a null object. But here, all you have to do is scale it. We're gonna move it up. Boom. We're gonna start from the beginning. I usually do it to follow. You can use this any way you want. Make it big. I usually put on the basketball like that. And then we're going to scale and then position a keyframe. And then just keep going through the motions as it moves. Just grab it and then move it. Go through the motions. Okay, it's moving a little again. Cool. All right. Moving again. Cool. We probably want to bring that scale down a little bit too. All right. And you're just going to keep doing that. All the way to the end. I'm a little lazy right now, so I'm not doing all of it, but you get the gist. All you gotta do is do that and put the easy ease right there. Temple, easy ease, bada boom, bada bang. Now, I would tell you to take your time and actually keyframe it piece by piece, but I was just trying to show you guys the energy that you can do. That brings a different vibe to the video. Also, lastly, I have these animated fonts. Now, it's a pack of three. It's three fonts in here. We're going to use it on this one, though, because I feel like it's just the best for the color. So I'm going to just write some cool, like, um, I'm going to just type in the word drip. D... Where's the R? D R I P. And now all you gotta do is delete that. Bada boom. Bada bang. We're gonna scale that to the frame. You can even increase the size on these if you want. Or decrease the timing on these so they can do this whole time. And then usually what I do is go like this for screen. Make it like 60. And then I just, I just copy. And all you gotta do is literally just paste it on each one. And now you have all the letters. And then now you like this. D. R. I. And then here we go. P. Move it down a little bit. Move it over. There you go. Then you got drip. Look at that. That's pretty cool right there. And once again, you can have like drip come in and you could do a slide. You just slide the D. Pause. <laughs> you could slide the R in like this. 
you know have something cool so it's like slide in like that so you might have to go like this boom and then boom maybe like keep sliding slide this one too and then maybe slide this one and then you're gonna slide from the bottom maybe this one will slide from the top so it's like follows the oh that's dope that is dope you can use that for an intro or something like that so yeah man it's three different fonts in there animated overlays text pack make it quick thank you guys for watching this tutorial thank you guys if you purchased i appreciate all the support thus far i'm definitely going to be making more packs this was just the first um, definitely let me know the things that you guys need and we're going to see if we can get it done. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate it until next time. Happy creating and keep creating. All right, y'all. I'll leave out.